from the perspective of the actor going in to record the movie is exactly like going in to record the show. You know, you get the appointment, the booking, we say, and then you show up and then they're like, it's a Naruto movie. And you go, oh, okay, cool. What do we do? Where do we start? And they're like, page 13. Okay. So the, the experience, I mean, we probably in the moment laughed and said some things, you know, but, but the, the movie and the show to me seem like one and the same. I mean, I recognize that they're different, but from my perspective, I'm driving to the same studio. I'm going into the same room with the same people oh. saying the lines. So, okay. ow. Um, what is your most memorable moment that you, while you were voicing Naked, you were voicing Naked that happened either on set or with a fan or something like that? Mm, probably the Neji death scene. I gotta say, I don't remember who was directing it that day. But I do remember taking it very seriously so that it would be good. Um, I, like I said, I wish I could remember who was directing because that's the other part of the performance. But I, like, I don't because it's 13 years worth of recordings. But probably that day. Also because it meant that I was finally for real dying and off the show after that many years. But I do... I, I'm not if he's done it yet, but I know in Boruto, of course, he does some other characters, and I know that Neji does appear in one of the scenes when Boruto kind of gets that time. Mm -hmm. I know if you're allowed to answer this, but did you already voice your scene in that scene, or you haven't yet? No, I did Boruto. When did I do that record? I'm trying to think about it. When I Before I got my new computer, because I remember seeing the elements on the desktop of the old computer. So I probably did Boruto in November. And I only okay. did it one, one or two times. Okay, so you did already voice your part in that. Mm-hmm. Several oh, months yeah. ago. All right. how, how was it to return in Boruto? Mm, weird, because at that point now, I'm doing it at home. It's a whole different director. I don't really know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I just said my lines in my character. Um, and then I thought I might have more jobs on that show, but I didn't, I maybe did it two times for four hours, you know, like, and that's it. <clears throat> and I kept, th like I said, I kept thinking they might call, oh, he's making an appearance here. He he's got this scene, but, um, that never happened. Oh, yeah, I've never seen a scene in Japanese for a sign, and I was like, because of course, and I think like, at the time that Ninja died. Here's the thing that I said to Brian. The only three main characters that died during Ninja War is your character and Skamaru's dad, and he knows that. There's only three main characters that died in the entire war. And I don't know, I, 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 I can understand this one why your guy was for me, not dying in Naruto, of course. But, right, I feel like it's kind of not fair why your character, all the characters in the show, and your character was really, really liked by all the fans uh, uh, in the world, why you're going to have to die? Like, it was like, why Ninja? I mean, just because it made it that much more dramatic, I think, after yeah. everything, after everything that happened, and he's a dramatic character. So it, it did sort of make, it did sort of make sense, especially since, at least at the time, because, you know, this is all a few years ago, there were a lot of flashbacks. And so even after I died, I kept coming back to work because there was more yeah. lines. So, it wasn't even like dying, but I think it's just to keep it nice and dramatic. Um, okay, so okay, now I, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna ask you the same question. What was your reaction to your dead character's dead? Like, how did you? Because I, 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 I asked Brian, well, how did he react to Ninja Dex? Of course, their best friend in the show, and he said he compared it to like Sean Bean, like any time a character dies in the show, it's like, oh my god, we're really killing the character. Uh, what was your reaction to hearing first time hearing about the death of Neji? Because why you told me that you guys don't know what you're about to go voice? You go to the studio, you get a script, and then you're knowing the scene as you're reading it or you read it. Yeah, he's right. Except that we were working on this show enough that it wasn't quite that blind. I mean, he's right. That's how it. Ha that's how it happens. But it's not like I got surprised that day at work because you know the manga was out everybody knew that this was going to happen so i i knew it was going to happen i didn't i didn't know exactly what day that was going to 
which recording session specifically that was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen. I wasn't sure how it was going to go down though. You know, like what the lines were going to be, what I was going to have to do. Cause I, you know, I didn't go look up the original, you know, I, I didn't know what I had to do, but I knew in advance, I knew quite a while in advance that that was going to, that that was coming for me. And was that be like emotional for you a little bit or? Hmm. Not emotional per se, but certainly after you record that, you're like, wow, my character that I've done for 13 years just died. So it's, it's pretty heavy on that level. But then, like I said, on the other level, we all joked because I bet it wasn't even two weeks before I was back in the studio recording Neji for a flashback episode, et cetera, et cetera. And so from, from the standpoint of my actual life, he didn't die. I kept going to work. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, what's your favorite other character except for your own character? Hmm. I gotta think of that. I don't know. Hinata. <laughs> that is my. That is, that is definitely my girlfriend's favorite uh, actor. And I got. A, I got a cam. Are you on cameo? Uh, no. I, I, I people talk to me about cameo, but I haven't uh, signed up. Because my girlfriend, again, she's a huge Naruto fan, and she really want like, and she didn't know what Kimmy was before. And I got a Kimmy for Stephanie Shea, the voice actress of Naruto, and mm -hmm. and had like she was she was uh, she really she was really happy. Um, all right, so Naruto, how about Naruto? Your relationship with Naruto changed a lot through the through the entire show, right? You start kind of like not being enemies, but you don't like each other for the show. You know, you're like right. you're cousins, but that's pretty much it. And then you fight her. I'm so hard on her, yeah. And then after the training exam, you know, you go ahead, you sit Sasuke, which I sit Sasuke, the Sasuke is super hard. And after that, for like two years and a half, well, Naruto is over, you train her like hell. You train her really hard. Yeah, I um, remember those sessions where I was just riding her and riding her. You know, to train her, being mean to her, basically. Yeah, yeah. Try, try, try to change her... Uh, her, how would I say that? Her, like, because she's, you know, she's only that shy girl, you know, and she doesn't want to be up there. And you just, you literally boost her up, like, you know, like, you have to get up, you know, and if you, like you say, if you want to stand by narrative, you have to get stronger. And yeah. I, was really, I love those kind of scenes. Um, how did you approach the character of Neji when you first started voicing back as inside, like, 2006? Like, how did you come up with the voice or, you know, how you speak and everything? Like, how did you come up with all of that? Well, I don't really know, you know, because I went to the audition and you read the sides, you see what they're saying about the character, you figure out, okay, well, this is what they're saying about him. Let me go do my thing. And then you spend 10 minutes in the room auditioning and then you leave. Then you find out you got the part and then you come back and they play you your audition. And you basically base everything you do there forward on the audition ref because that's what got you the part out of all of the people so you just sort of stick with that approach and then build on it and then more than that in dubbing especially you let the scene play itself and you fill up each individual moment yeah, yeah of course because the japanese are already up there all you have to do is just voice over and I'm right gonna come really quick. it's already like, done you, have you i know brian said he hasn't uh, have you met either the voice actress, voice actress of Tintin, of Guy, or even by himself in real life before? Oh, yeah. I knew every single person on that show before it started. We all know each other. Okay. So, like, when I went to the audition, everybody in the room, I remember, was there. You know, everyone, I knew everyone. I know Stephanie. She doesn't even live a mile away from me. D Danielle lives far away, but, you know, like, yes, we all know each other. Because we had all been on other shows together before that and see each other in the waiting rooms or some of us, you know, we would have the same agent or we were, we see each other at the studios when we were working on other jobs or, you know, we have other overlapping jobs or we show up on the same looping job together. Like Danielle and I work more doing TV shows than 
we do, you know, I mean like network TV shows more than we know each other from Naruto. In fact, I got to be honest, I didn't even know Danielle was on Naruto until many years later. And, and I know her. We would do jobs on TV shows together and never even talk about it. And then one day I was in the studio and somebody said something in one scene about blah, 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 Danielle. And I was like, Judavitz? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, she's, I didn't know that because she's doing a character. I didn't recognize her voice. I didn't even know it. So the, the long answer to your question is yes, we all knew each other. Every I single person. We never met the voice actor of, of Guy Sensei, and that really shot me when he told me that. Who did he, who? Brian, Brian told you he, but who is it he never met? The voice actor of Guy Sensei. Oh, of Guy. Who is yeah. it? I forget. Uh, I, 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 if I'm being honest with you, I can't think of some of my favorites. It, it might come up, but but uh, you know, come back in, in my in my memory. But I mean, yeah, maybe there was one or two people I didn't know. Oh, okay. Um, but what was your favorite fight scene that you? I know you probably you film a lot of fight scene, but what's your favorite fight scene you voice or you film? I guess during the narrative or after Superman. Wow. Probably, I guess, I can't remember specifically if it was Sasuke in the darkness, but when we were in that alternate reality where the uh, tornadoes kept happening, is that, am I remembering that correctly? And I- You fought back before saying that you fought back in Naruto. You're talking about the war. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I, I don't think that's Sasuke Shikamaru, in the darkness. He bought in children. Yeah, but we had to have a lot of battles in that other world where we were outside, and I remember a lot of sandstorms and stuff like that that I had yeah. to see through with the Byakugan. All right. But otherwise, fight scenes, when you're the actor, go like this. Ugh, huh. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's all you do. You don't have very many lines. You just make a noise, and the fight scene takes place in the picture. Yeah, that's what Tom told me. Like when he voices like the video games, you literally have to do a lot of those voices because in the video game you can really get hey, you have to do those weird noises. And that Tom told me it's like an hour of just doing those kind of weird noises for like a day. Yeah. In a video game, sometimes 50% of your line count is efforts. Fully half of the lines. Huh. Oof. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so the most recent game that you voiced, I don't remember, was Naruto the Birth of Shinobi Striker. Your character came back in that game, I think it was late 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was late 2020. In a Naruto uh, game? Yeah, Naruto the Birth of Shinobi Striker. Oh, yeah, I guess Striker. I remember. I guess I remember that. A Naruto video game out of nowhere. So that came out of nowhere. Like, you know you were like, it was some like the Stone series, because that was like, you know, like, that was basically the show put into video games. Like the Stone 1, 2, 3, and 4. But uh, now to the birth to a striker, uh, again, you did, I don't know if you voiced or you just took your, you know, your voices from the show and past video games and did you voice that? No, I had to go. I did that job. I didn't have to go. I did it here from home. Um, okay. Like we've been doing all jobs for a year and a half. But yes, I did that video game here at home. Okay. I don't remember when. Sometime within the last year and a half, I think. Yeah, you're. It was a DLC character, so you had to buy it. It came out in December 2019. Uh, 2020, sorry. It was probably a couple of, I don't know how long it takes for the voice to go to the video games and stuff like that, but all right. Um, all right, now, so like I said, my girlfriend wanted you to say two lines from the show. Uh, one of them was the line that you said in Naruto uh, before you go and uh, go chase Sasuke. I don't know if you remember that line, but... Oh, I don't remember it. No, you'd have to tell me what it, oh, tell it's me like what it was. That, I have no idea. Uh, it's a line of sometimes your eyes are better than mine. What? Your eyes are better than mine. Like that, you mean? Yes. Who did he say it to? Your no. eyes are better than mine, Naruto. Remember. <laughs> it's really, and uh, the other one, and I, I, I have this knowing to do this, well, my girlfriend was uh, also asked if you could do your uh, your classic uh, six four palms through the two to the six four. So the uh, oh, like eight eight trigrams, sixty four palms, like that one. 
Yes. Two but try. I, I, all I remember is four. eight grams, 64. I don't remember the other numbers. Oh, it's two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. So you just add times two every time. Two trigrams. How many palms come after two trigrams? Four? Two, four, eight, 16, 32, and 64. Right. So like eight trigrams, 64 palms. Eight times eight, right? Two times two is four. Two trigrams, four palms. Four trigrams, 24 palms. palms. I can't remember. I have a script. I don't have to memorize this shit. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie said, I, and she got her voice to the Japanese voice of Hinata. It's like when she did that, she also did that, I think like two or three times in the show. She did it. She did six four palms once during the war. And and your character appears said, like, yeah, she thought 32 was her limit. Your character comes, I guess, one of those five by scene and says, You can reach six four. And she does six four. And then she said, Inata and the Japanese speaks faster than the English version of the, of the character. Uh, is it the same for Neji? Like, you presenting, like, like when you're voicing over, is it is the, the Japanese as it speaks faster than your Neji in the English version? Um, so, sometimes, yeah, because it, as simple as Japanese words and English words have, being different lengths. So regardless of whether the guy, the actor is talking fast or not, it just comes down to the amount of time for that line oh, okay. in the in the rundown. So yeah, sometimes it's fast, but that's more because the English has more syllables than Japanese to say the same thing. So more than how fast they're talking is it's what do I have to do to make it fit fast or slow? But usually things like eight trigrams, 64 palms in, in Japanese, it's kind of the same uh, uh, length. They say, they say they sound like this, eight trigrams, 64 I mean, it sort of just sounds like the same. But Japanese might be faster because they get this much silence and everything. And some yeah. Japanese will not be In which case, I have to say, hey, try gram 64 palms like that, you know? Or on a video game, sometimes you have to talk really fast because the, you have to say it in exactly the same amount of time. And sometimes it's fast. Even sometimes you have to rewrite it. I didn't know that. Um, but it's hard to rewrite things like, you know, six trigrams 32 palms or whatever 36 palms because that's what it is he can't really rewrite that that's it's how it it's what it is um and now i'm gonna ask you this and this is just a personal opinion that you answer that so if your character didn't die during the ninja war what in your own mind you think would be a perfect different energy if he did because i didn't ask that to tom, tom and i asked brian and i want to ask you what would you, what would you have liked to be your dead, your character's dead, if you didn't die by those big uh, woods by that, you know, killed you? Wow, it's hard to say if you like, you know, your ideal death, but I suppose it would either be a dignified death of old age as a uh, sensei or um, some epic bloodbath pile on, you know, where monsters and all sorts of creatures pile on and rip him to shreds. Something epic. Okay, okay. Here's the thing, right? If Naruto was like rated art, it would be such a. I know it's PG 13, but if it was rated art, it'd be such a different show. Oh, I know. There could be cursing and all sorts of Oh, yeah. Of stuff. Oh, yeah. But there's a little bit of cursing. Naruto says, What the hell a lot. I'm not bad. Yeah. But I, think that's the, I think that's the most written they've done was What the hell. Right. Because may, I don't remember if it was Naruto, but we also had to change things that said kill. Yeah, uh, because just stuff in Japan, I know for like an example of the change that they did, I know in Japan, the Japanese, the manga, sorry, the Japanese version, when Asuma smokes, it's a different secret than the American uh, or the English version of the manga, because apparently those secrets were legal or something like that. There's stuff that had changed from Japanese to English, and Christian sure other languages too there. When it comes well, to the manga. Again, I'm not sure if it was Naruto or not, but for TV purposes, they want to be very kill, very careful of things like kill uh the, the words you used regarding death oh, okay. murder uh, and stuff uh, like that uh, i want to ask you some quick random questions and all you have to do is i'll type your mind tell me your answer and if you could do it in the engine voice that'll be fucking uh, that'll be awesome if you can do it all right 
What is your what is your favorite food? Fruit or food? Food. Fried chicken. All right. Favorite movie of all time? Tootsie. Okay. Favorite TV show of all time? Hmm. Let me think about that. <laughs> What would be my favorite TV? Downton Abbey. Oh, my husband the Walking Dead. I have. <laughs> I love Walking Dead. Uh, what's Or dog. Favorite what? Drink. A Pim's Punch. Oh, all right. Uh, who's your favorite actor, voice or just on screen actor? Hmm. Wow, who would my favorite actor be? Uh, Keanu Reeves. The John series. I don't know if you're a fan of John. Well, probably in the four. Yeah, I like those. I like those movies. Those were good. Yeah, that's really good. My favorite actor has to be Charlie Bushman. I don't know if you knew, but you're to, to go to today is the anniversary of his death. Yeah, yes. I'm hard to believe that a it's been a year and that b he died. Yeah, and my other favorite actor. Uh, it's been for a long time, and I'll never change. And I was keeping this in my mind is Clint Eastwood. I love all of his movies. He's a good director. Uh, I, I love him as a director and also an actor. Uh, the bad, the good, and the ugly is one of my favorite movies of all time. I know it's uh -huh. like old movie. And probably a lot of you guys will be watching this probably don't know what that movie is, but if you haven't, I highly recommend you. It's, it's oh, yeah, it's a classic. Sometimes in my directing, I say a little, a little more like Clint Eastwood. I say that as a direction. Uh, uh, favorite actress, voice or on screen again? Uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Oh, <laughs> she got she got so many, so many uh, Oscar like it's <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marvel or DC? Oh, God, don't get me on that. Uh, I suppose I'll say Marvel. All right, all right. And then, final answer and final question Batman or Superman? Superman. Superman. All right. Um, I think that's been here for now. That's the question I want to ask you. Uh, if you have anything that you want to promote, uh, if you want to, let me know. Let me know on Instagram and I'll put everything in the description of the YouTube video. And I suppose that if I only had anything I wanted to promote, it would be for people to keep watching uh, Demon Slayer, a show that I directed in English, and to you watch direct, direct season English seven. Uh, yes, and now I've season seven of Seven Deadly Sins, which is out half on Netflix, and the other half we just finished, so it's it's coming out. So for now, Seven Deadly Sins and uh, Demon Slayer. I'm, I want to promote, but oh, but not as an actor, as the director. Did, uh, did you direct all of the episodes of Demon Slayer in English? Yep, all 25, 24, however many there were. I, I didn't know that. I, I and, this, and the movie, and I did directed the movie as well, the English movie dub. Was, that's, that anime has a great feature, for sure. Like, it's... Mugen Train. The, yeah, the train movie, too. And, it's, and it's, season two is coming in, in October in Japanese. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. Like that show is just yeah. Season two that, is coming up, but it's it's far still, still a ways away. Yeah, for the English dub, of course. Yeah, but I, I'm waiting for the English dub to watch it. I mean, I was like when I first started, I was like I was debating if you watch an English dub or Japanese. And my girlfriend was like, I want to watch it in English. But I grew up watching Jap uh, anime in Japanese. Like when Naruto was first hearing on TV, I was yeah, and then reading reading the subs totally. Yeah, I, I'm used to reading while I'm watching. Mm -hmm. anime. I have no trouble doing that. My girlfriend can't, so I probably wait for English. But uh, again, thank you so much Steve, for doing the, uh, the podcast with me. I appreciate it. Well, thank uh, you. I hope that you got a good episode out of this. Yes, and next week, uh, don't forget, guys, we'll be uh, uh, interviewing people's actions of Ken Ken. So we'll have um, I, 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 there's no way that I can join uh, the voice actor of Guy because he has like no social media, so it's kind of harder to contact him. I wish I could, but um next week we'll complete the trio of your team team guy uh except for guy himself which is kind of sad but it's what it is um <laughs> thank you so much for joining on the show uh again go ahead guys and watch any slayer and uh, the english dub version and season seven is Demon slayer uh seven days seven. i thought season six was the last one but apparently it's the same one i guess nope yeah the season seven half of it's already up now and half will be up 
shortly. All right, all right. Well, again, thanks so much, Steve, for joining the show today. Thank um, you so much for inviting me. It was a pleasure. Uh, can you please end this with a uh, rotation for your character? I will say eight trigrams, 64 palms, 111 palms. <laughs> Didn't every once in a while he get crazy? <laughs> I'll make up something new. <laughs> I'll just have some real problems. I'll, I'll feel right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Steve, for joining us today. It was a, a great pleasure. I I'm 20 now. I've been I've been watching this. I was five years old in 2006. Uh, it, it, I, I can't believe that I've in the last four months interviewed three of my favorite characters. From yeah, I love it. That's fantastic. Good for you. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have a good future. And uh, can't wait to see more things there. I, I, now that I know you're you directing English. Job just makes me uh my my, my girlfriend Jill is into you now because again she really loved that show so uh thank you so much uh, that's for awesome. the, uh, oh, sorry no thanks keep watching yeah thank you for joining our podcast and uh guys uh this will be out on YouTube and uh Spotify and Amazon Music and all those platforms if you want to watch it there uh I'll put it on media and if you want to it's up to you but uh, whenever I post it if you want to. They like Brian did and Tom for posting story something uh, that's up to you there if you want to uh, uh I guess whatever but the thing is for joining the show it was a great pleasure to meet you uh, Mrs. Steve Philly and uh again thanks again for joining the network podcast. Thank you. All right have a great day. You too my man thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Bye bye.